Stay savage, stay savage, your boy Shino Ventura, what's poppin'? Today we are back, and this time we're gonna be talking about Boku no Hero. Now, I know a lot of you guys in the comment section have been asking me, yo, Shino, what's going on with Boku no Hero? Should I watch it? Is it worth the watch? You know, should I check it out? Is it really good? I hear a lot of people saying different things about it. Well, guess what? I think it's pretty decent. So if you guys would like to check it out, you know, I'm gonna leave some links where you guys can watch it on Crunchyroll and shit like that. But the thing is, Boku no Hero is some real life heat. Now, I'm gonna give you guys my personal thoughts, my personal opinions. I'm gonna give you guys pretty much my intake, you know, how I feel about the show. This is all subjective. You know, you probably could take it one way, you could take it another way. You probably might not agree with me if you watch anime and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? This is why it's just like opinionated and stuff like that. But I'm gonna give you guys a couple of reasons why you should watch Boku no Hero, why I think it's just and it's shit like that. So if you guys are excited, make sure you hit that like button, take that W, not that L. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're taking W's you're out, you're winning. And you is winning, you never lose it. So hit that bell as well. That way you get notification whenever we go live or whenever new content drops. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. Let's get it. Whipping all this dope up in the trap house We fuck all you bitches at the trap house I can't trust you, okay, can't give you real address I can't trust you, okay, can't give you real address It don't mean that be like Jerry Stagger I might fall in love with my trap house so, I'm gonna talk about Boku no Hero like a boss. Also, if you guys don't know, like, I tried to record this video and I accidentally hit stream. So, a lot of you guys watching this may have already seen, like, the beginning portion of it. And you guys thought that shit was so hilarious. So, I had to, like, take out some of the shit and redo it because the worst thing I ever done is hit stream while trying to record. But, anyways, that's all the topic. So, talk about Boku no Hero. Boku no Hero is probably one of my favorite animes this season. A lot of people don't understand Boku no Hero because they don't want to take the time out to watch it. Now, basically, Boku no Hero is a school about superhero kids, you know what I'm saying? Everybody have a different ability, aka a quirk, and they all basically compete to get into the Hero Academy. Now, if you guys have ever watched the Disney Channel movie Sky High, I know a lot of you guys may have seen Sky High. Sky High is probably one of the OG movies from the past. If you look at Sky High and you compare it to Boku no Hero, you may actually see a lot of similarities. There are a lot of people with the same type of powers and shit like that, so, you know, they all have, like, this little mixture of different things. Now, if you look at Sky High, you know, there's Sky High was about a kid, you know, he was raised by two superhero parents and then you know he didn't have any powers growing up while everybody else had a power and shit like that so if you look at Deku, Deku was a kid raised by just his mom we don't know too much about his father but Deku is a kid that didn't have any powers you know he basically strived to be great he wanted to be something that he wasn't and he just kept trying and he never wanted to give up then he eventually you know ran into All Might you know he ran into situa situations where he had to be a hero and be a hero like as in pull hero moves so he was kind of on some Batman shit where, versus him just running in there trying to save the day and not having some powers and shit like that that, so he's just out there just doing his real like his own thing you know what I'm saying eventually he met up with All Might All Might they, like later on passed on some power to him that way he was able to get a quirk you know he was eventually able to get, go into the Hero Academy and he basically train and shit like that now if you look at My Hero My Hero has a lot of different aspects because if you think about it when it comes with a Hero Academy that means everybody in the Academy is a hero right so that I'm talking about this is a big cast if you like TV shows with like a whole bunch of characters you like animes with a whole bunch of characters and shit like that there's a whole bunch of characters everybody have their own own like different unique abilities everybody all chilling in their own little sections doing their own little things everybody has so many different unique talents like you got Shoto he has half fire half ice you got Kachan who's dropping bombs on him we got Lydia with turbo booster for fucking legs we got Ruta Rutakara I always say her name wrong she has zero gravity there's so many different people they got like so many different fucking quirks and there's so many different powers and then we got like the superhero which is the teachers you know the original pro heroes and shit like that we got all my we got like uh eraser head we got so many different talents so many different personalities and so many different things to offer now one thing i'm gonna say for certain this anime is very action-packed there's a lot of action inside of boku no hero when you watching boku no hero you're gonna see all type of action i'm talking about some hardcore crazy shit like you're gonna be seeing all my go ham you're gonna be seeing that who pull out some miracle shit you know what i'm saying Kai Chan is probably one of the most explosive characters I've seen. I've seen some shit from Shoto when, you know, in the beginning we've seen a little bit from Shoto, but as in the new season and shit like that, I don't want to spoil it too much. We've seen a lot from Shoto. Shoto has been putting in some serious fucking punches. Like, this man has been going ham. Like, if you look at Shoto compared to how he was in season one, kind of laid back just watching, you know, he was good. Everybody knew he was a good ass fucking person in the class and shit like that. Everybody was kind of focused on Kachan because he had came number one, and then they seen Deku was basically at the bottom of the class still excelling and shit like that. So everybody's still like wondering what the fuck is going on with 
with him. And then eventually we see like them start to progress and start to get into like a more serious tone because everybody's competing to get into the hero course and shit like that. We're starting to see so many different things accumulate from this fucking anime and it's starting to become beautiful. Like honestly, it is really good. Like the first season is like 25 episodes. I'm not mistaken. The second season is supposed to be 25 episodes as well. You know, everybody's considering, you know, Boku no Hero to be one of the big three now because you guys know it's going to be like one of those things where they're going to try to ease it into like that uh, that that scenario try to put it in the big three i'll probably say that is one of the greats or whatever i don't know exactly if i think it's like worthy of being one of the big three or one of the greats of all time but it's still like a work in progress you know what i'm saying because you know there's a lot of different animes that made it up to there and then we you know we didn't expect those to go that as far as they did like i mean it depends on the fan base really so if we get a real good fan base behind boku no hero this anime could go really far now a lot of people say like uh deku is like the anti naruto or some shit like that but i don't really see it the only thing that i could say that i didn't really care for about care about deku in the beginning and it's probably still up until this point now in the tv show like it wasn't animated he's pretty much cries a lot like he has a very like crying habit like he's always sad and always like you know crying joys tears of joy like he cries a lot he's like a big ass crybaby like eventually he'll break out of it obviously that's character development but that's something that probably got on my nerves the most but overall you know if you like action scenes you like a plethora of characters you like like real life scenarios like you know what i'm saying because he has like issues with social social society and shit like that trying to fit in with people because he's the only person that don't have a quirk and shit like that in, in certain sense you know that's like some real life shit because if you like different from other people i'm not saying in terms of you having powers obviously powers are not real but you being a person, you trying to fit in with a particular group, you know what I'm saying? And not many people accept you, they look at you as an outcast. That's how a lot of people look at Deku, because in this society, the social norm is having a power, having an ability. And in the beginning of the show, he doesn't have an ability, he doesn't have a power. So everybody's always looking at him like he's just a weirdo, he's the outcast, he's the only one out of power and shit like that. While everybody around him has a power and everybody's calling him amazing, calling like each other amazing and shit versus Deku is just the only one that's just there. So you know what I mean? It's kind of like a, a, a fitting into society type of shit, but you know, it's a different society, a society full of power, so that could be related to real life aspects and shit like that. But overall, I think this is a good anime. I think you guys should give it a watch. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, I'm giving it an eight out of ten. You know, eventually it'll probably change. I know the manga is still progressing rapidly. You know, the manga is a lot far ahead than the actual anime and shit like that. So if you guys are looking for something to you know sit down and read, you can go ahead and check that out. If you guys are looking for something to watch, I highly recommend you guys check that out. So you know, this is just my personal thoughts and my personal opinions on Boku no Hero. I really enjoy this show a lot. Like I. I ain't gonna lie. At first, when uh, everybody was talking about it, you know, it's one of those things where you see a lot of people gas it up. You see a lot of people hype this shit up and you think it's gonna be something that it's not. You know, like, oh, you guys are doing this. You guys are hype beasting this shit. Like, you know, people love to hype beast things and they really don't do a good job of it. But when I started watching this, you know what I mean? It was one of those things where it was like, oh, you guys didn't necessarily have to hype beast this for me. Me just peeping it, me just looking at it myself was something that I thought I was going to enjoy. I was like, okay, you know, this is happening, this is happening. All right, I didn't expect that. Oh, wow, this shit is happening. It just gave me a lot of different, like, mixtures, a lot of different vibes, you know what I'm saying? And then you got, a, like, a whole bunch of characters you can connect to. You got a whole bunch of powers you get to see. And that's one thing I do enjoy about this anime because I did like Sky High, which was the movie I spoke about earlier. And, you know, it shows how, like, superhero teenagers, superhero Hero kids, you know, they all try to fit in and try to be around each other and shit like that. And you know, looking at this anime is pretty much that, but on like you know, a, a more of an anime fan basis. You know, what I mean, some of the things that they do are super exaggerated compared to Sky High. You know, there's a, a limited amount of things they could do in the movie, but in the anime, they, they go above beyond the fight scenes between All Might, the fight scenes between Kachan and Deku, you know, the fight scenes from Shoto when he's taking on other people. You know, we've seen some villains attack, we've seen some all type of shit. Like, there's not just heroes in this shit, obviously, there's a super here there's a villain somewhere there's villains in this shit you know the action scenes are really dope you know the plot is really starting to thicken you know you're starting to see it build up you're starting to see a lot of development from deku so i highly recommend you guys start checking it out like if you don't you know i mean give it just give it like a watch i'll give you five episodes you probably be hooked on it you probably get into it and you'll start to see deku develop a little bit more like i said it starts off a little bit slow deku is a bit of a crybaby you know that's something that does get on my nerves from time to time but eventually he starts to slowly break out of it you start seeing it less and less you know i feel like in the next I mean, maybe the next season season three or some shit like that that'll be the moment where he completely breaks for you from like that whole little nanny baby type of shit because like right now that nanny baby shit is probably driving me up the motherfucking wall like i honestly that's the only thing that bothers me but so far in the sports festival i think he's only cried one time and that was only because he won you know it wasn't more so him just crying just because you know he was being a baby and shit like that and then the beginning part of it is honestly gonna put you in a little bit of feels because you know like I said, Deku was a kid who was raised and he, he basically didn't have an ability and shit like that. He 
you was raised around other people. That's not too much of a spoiler. That's pretty much a synopsis. You know what I mean? Because if you look at like the beginning of the show or you read the synopsis, they pretty much tell you that shit like that. And they give you that little, you know, need to know basis and shit like that. So, honestly, if you guys check this out, let me know what you think of it. If you guys are already watching it, let me know what you think of it in the comment section. I do plan on doing anime reviews for it. I've been meaning to do anime reviews on it since the beginning. Honestly, I've been slacking with that, and I do apologize for that. That's kind of my personal problem. You know, that's just me. Uh, I've been so consumed with Boruto as of, like, my life. Fuck, I can't even say as of right now. As of my life. Because if you look at the videos that have been coming out, it's been Boruto, Boruto, Boruto. Maybe some random shit Boruto some random shit about Naruto than Boruto so that's just kind of me so basically let me know how you feel about this uh let me know how you feel about me doing anime reviews on Boku no Hero and with that being said my name is Shino Ventro stay tuned stay real hope you guys have a blessed day and until next time see you guys later bye -Z.